Angela Rye was on with uh, Joe Walsh Ooh. on CNN. She also, Joe Walsh was also talking about how um, Barack Obama lowered the bar for standards. Joe Walsh, incidentally, was a congressman for one term. He lost. Uh, he was a deadbeat dad for a while. I don't know if he's now got enough work after becoming a But, I mean, of all people in the world. But here is Joe Walsh making the same argument that our caller made the other day uh, about cultural appropriation of some sorts, a derivation of that. Here it is. Now, assume for a minute, Brooke, that Sean Spicer was a condescending jerk yesterday. And I think he probably right, pause was. Here's the, the, Joe Walsh is, is, is arguing that Sean Spicer, tisk tisking April Ryan, has no racial implications whatsoever. But what does that have to do with race? And what does that have to do with sex? Brooke, Sean Spicer has been a condescending jerk uh, to white male reporters a whole heck of a lot. If, 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 and April's a great reporter, but doesn't she want to be treated equally? Why does this always have to do with race and sex? It, it's, it's ridiculous. Angela, how do you feel about it? I don't know if Sean Spicer is a racist. I don't know if Donald Trump is a racist. Um, I don't know if the fallout that April experienced with Omarosa, who's a, a White House staffer, has challenges because of racial animus. What I do know is that April Ryan was disrespected yesterday and it was unwarranted. What I do know is that Sean Spicer is not April Ryan's father, so he should not tell her what she should and should not do. What I do know is that I'm sick and tired of this White House, as I was sick and tired of the campaign treating people less than, whether they're different because they are black or they're different because they cross the border, or they're different because they worship a different God, or their God is known by a different name. I am tired of difference being disrespected and mistreated by this White House. Okay, so so let me move on. Hey, to, Brooke, to, Angela, yeah, hang Angela, on, Joe. Brooke, Angela. I'm not I'm talking to bigots. Go ahead, Joe. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm not talking to bigots. No, no, no. Angela had me. I agreed with the first. 30 seconds where she went off there. I agreed with everything she said. Off. Sean Spicer was a, was a condescending jerk yesterday. But then Angela had to go to race. Why did it have anything to do with race? Angela, he has treated male white reporters horribly before, too. What's the big deal? Hold on. And why, what, what, why use the B word, Angela? Because Joe is a bigot. And I'll give you an example of why. Since you brought up Twitter yesterday, here's Joe's tweet. And you're way wrong on your main point, Angela. We lowered the bar for Obama. He was held to a lower standard because he was black. That is Joe Walsh's tweet. You all decided to give Joe Walsh a platform today. I'm not giving him the time of day. I'm interested in having conversations, Brooke, that will move racial uh, people, ra people of all races forward in this country. I'm interested in having a conversation that will help us to ad admit the wrongs that were done in this country and how we move forward. I am not interested in trying to convince and change the mind of a bigot, someone who will openly troll me and say things that are offensive that he, know are not, he knows are not but true. So there you have it. I mean, well, Joe Walsh, I'm sure, I mean, Sean Spicer, I'm sure, would say, to a, uh, a white male reporter, don't shake your head at me. Don't shake your head. And while we're on it, Brooke, I noticed that Angela's hair straightened, which frankly is a complete <laughs> reappropriation of really my whole family. But I'm not bringing up race. I mean, I just think we got to get past all of these double standards. Anyways, I'll see you on Twitter later with some tweets about IQ comparisons. Just open debate. Good for Angela Rye making that about CNN. Yes. No, yeah. that was brilliant. I love her. She, it's amazing brilliant. how much black people get away with in our society. It's just amazing. That's just incredible. God. She's Opeet. Yeah. She's Opeet. Hey, everybody. Sam Cedar here. Donald Trump is a bad guy. Believe me. It's true. It is true. And you can subscribe to this channel by subscribing to this channel. It's true.